Today, I'm delighted to speak to MIT's Deborah Ancona. Good morning, Deborah. Good morning, Carl. Uh, Deborah, you have the four capabilities model at MIT you've been using for a while now. Of the four, which two do you see as being the most important for today's world? Um, so while the, the literature on leadership um, is dominated really by two of our capabilities, that is visioning, uh, the charismatic leader who's able to, to present uh, the vision that motivates everybody to move forward, and relating, the ability to listen, to empathize, to put yourself in someone else's shoes, to coach um, others, uh, and those two play an important role in our model. Interestingly enough, the two biggest predictors in our latest data set uh, and um, analysis, the two biggest predictors of leadership effectiveness are sense-making and inventing. Uh, now, sense-making occurs in almost no leadership model uh, that we have seen, and yet um, it, it kind of makes sense that part of a leader's job in this day and age, when the world is moving so quickly uh, and in, such, in, in so many ways that we can't predict, that a key thing that a leader can do is sense make, that is make sense of the context in which an organization or, or a team is operating. So what's going on out there? That's the basic question that sense making asks. And how can we map what's going on out there so that we can act in this environment that's changing. Um, and so this mapping complexity, the sense making component uh, is um, extraordinarily related to uh, managerial ratings of leadership effectiveness. Um, so can we figure it out? But as the um, people working in strategy will tell you, it's not enough to figure it out. So uh, even if you can map complexity, uh, they talk about this notion of sensing and seizing. Uh, so it's not just understanding what opportunities exist and what's going on out there, but being able to move in that environment. And so this inventing component, uh, the notion that you create the structures and processes to move the organization ahead is the second component. Um, it's an aspect of inventing. So sensing and seizing, uh, being able to understand complexity and then move quickly to take advantage of the opportunities that you've seen in the environment. Um, so the sense making and inventing are the two capabilities that make the most difference. When you look at MIT's approach to leadership that you're very much involved with, you have the four capabilities, but you have another part, which is your leadership signature. What is that? So the leadership signature is, if you think of the four capabilities sitting in a, in a diamond, the leadership signature is the center of that. Uh, and a leadership signature is your unique way of leading. So we can watch videos of, um, all kinds of different leaders, but we can't be those people. And so what we tell people is that, our students, is that leadership is personal. So leadership is personal means that the best leader that you can be is based on your leadership signature, your values, your experiences, your skills, uh, and that what you need to develop is a voice or a way of leading that builds on who you are. And a key component of that is, uh, is your value set and um, your, the way in which you behave. Are you ethical or not ethical? And interestingly, as I said before, uh, sense making and inventing are, are now the two biggest predictors of leadership effectiveness. A third component that we find is uh, the ability to uh, build respect and trust with the people that you're, you're working with. And so, um, so those three components sense making, inventing, so you sense the opportunities in a rapidly changing world, you seize those opportunities, and because that's changing all the time, the stability comes from you as an individual, and the fact that people can rely upon you to act ethically, uh, and therefore win the respect and trust of others.